Today, we're diving deep beneath the waves to uncover the secrets behind Britain's silent underwater power. In the silent depths of the world's oceans, an invisible game of hide-and-seek is constantly being played. Nations invest billions of dollars into submarines designed not to be seen, not to be heard, and almost never to be found. Among the most elusive of these underwater giants are British submarines. Imagine a massive war machine, longer than a football field, carrying nuclear missiles. Moving silently through the darkest depths of the ocean. You can't see it, you can't hear it and even the most advanced sensors in the world struggle to find it. This is not science fiction, this is the reality of British submarines. But what exactly makes British submarines so hard to detect? Modern naval warfare relies heavily on sonar, satellites, underwater sensors, and patrol aircraft. Yet despite these tools, British submarines routinely operate undetected in some of the most heavily monitored waters on Earth. How do they stay hidden in an ocean full of satellites, sonar systems, and enemy hunters? Let's dive beneath the surface. To understand why British submarines are so difficult to detect, we first need to understand why stealth matters. A submarine's greatest strength is its invisibility. Once detected, a submarine becomes vulnerable not just to tracking, but to destruction. Perhaps the most powerful weapon British submarines carry isn't a missile or torpedo. No one ever truly knows where Britain's ballistic missile submarines are. This uncertainty is a cornerstone of the UK's nuclear deterrent. Potential adversaries must assume, a British submarine is always nearby, always hidden, always ready. This invisible presence helps prevent conflict before it even begins. When a weapon is impossible to find, it becomes impossible to neutralize. In many cases, British submarines know where the enemy is long before the enemy knows they're there. What makes British submarines so hard to detect? Is it advanced technology? Brilliant engineering? Or decades of experience operating in secrecy? The answer is all, it's not just one thing, it's the combination of nuclear endurance, extreme silence, smart use of ocean physics, elite crew training and decades of engineering focused on stealth above all else. A submarine that can't be detected can track enemy ships, gather intelligence, protect allied forces and if necessary, deliver devastating strikes without warning. Unlike surface ships, submarines rely on invisibility rather than armor. The British Royal Navy understands this better than almost anyone. For decades, the UK has focused on building submarines that are not just powerful but nearly invisible. British submarines are engineered with extreme attention to acoustic quieting the art of reducing every possible noise and it all starts with one critical advantage. One of the biggest advantages of British submarines is nuclear propulsion. Unlike diesel-electric submarines, nuclear-powered submarines do not need to surface or snorkel to recharge batteries. This allows them to remain underwater for months at a time, limited only by food supplies and crew endurance. But more importantly, modern British nuclear reactors are designed to be exceptionally quiet. British submarines, such as the Astute class and Vanguard class, are nuclear-powered. Why does that matter? because nuclear reactors allow submarines to stay underwater for months at a time without surfacing. Diesel-electric submarines must surface or snorkel to recharge batteries creating noise, heat and radar signatures, British nuclear submarines don't have that problem. They don't need oxygen, don't need fuel resupply and don't need to surface. This means fewer movements, fewer chances to be seen, and longer periods of absolute silence beneath the ocean. The reactors produce power without the mechanical noise associated with traditional engines. This reduces vibrations one of the primary ways submarines are detected by sonar. The greatest enemy of a submarine is sound. Sonar systems don't look for submarines they listen for them. British submarines are engineered to be unbelievably quiet, here's how they do it. First, advanced pump jet propulsion replaces traditional propellers. 
pump jets produce far less noise and reduce turbulence in the water. Second, machinery inside the submarine is mounted on shock-absorbing platforms. This prevents vibrations from traveling through the hull and into the ocean. Third, the outer hull is covered with anechoic tiles rubber-like panels that absorb sound waves instead of reflecting them. Together, these technologies make British submarines quieter than the surrounding ocean itself. In some conditions, they're literally harder to hear than marine life. Technology alone isn't enough. British submarine crews are trained to use the ocean itself as camouflage. Water temperature, pressure and salinity create layers in the sea that bend sound waves. These are called thermal layers. By positioning themselves carefully within these layers, submarines can hide from enemy sonar, distort sound signals and disappear into acoustic blind spots. British crews also follow strict silent running procedures minimal movement, no unnecessary machinery, even crew activities are carefully controlled. At times, a British submarine can remain so quiet that even friendly forces struggle to locate it. British submarines are not built in large numbers but they are built with a very specific purpose. Here's the paradox of submarine warfare. To survive, you must listen without being heard. British submarines excel at passive sonar, which listens to sounds instead of sending signals, this allows them to detect enemy ships from long distances, identify specific vessels by sound signature, track targets without revealing their own position. They also rely heavily on intelligence sharing, satellite data, and secure communications used sparingly and carefully to avoid detection. In many cases, British submarines know where the enemy is long before the enemy knows they're there. So what makes British submarines so hard to detect? It's not just one thing. It's the combination of nuclear endurance, extreme silence, smart use of ocean physics, elite crew training and decades of engineering focused on stealth above all else.